Hey guys, can we talk about Ant-Man slash Giant-Man in the Captain America Civil War movie? That was cool. Now, I've already heard speculations, rumors, and, you know, I've already heard that Ant-Man was going to do something big in this movie, and he did it. And I found him really fun, you know, in a in between all of that drama between Tony and Captain America and Bucky, I love that there was someone who just brought, you know, something fun to the fight. Um, my problem is, when you become a giant, do you automatically walk super slow or move super slow? Now, let's, let's pretend that that was true. If that was true, if someone can turn into a giant, I understand trying to get, to, get used to moving, you know, because now you don't know how much strength you're really putting out when you move. Um, but I just found it kind of disturbing that he, it took him forever to reach for something. I feel like when you're a giant, you're, you almost feel still the same to where you can kind of move around like a normal person, except obviously you're making bigger leaps and bigger movements. So that was my problem with that. However, yeah, I had a great time watching this movie. Scott Lang is fun. I wish he got to do more stealing theft, burglary kind of stuff in the movie. I know it wasn't his movie, but I kind of wish that they had done something more with him, you know? Sneaking into a... I don't know, sneak, sneaking into an office and spying on, on Tony or something. I don't know. But yeah, I loved the movie. There were a lot of flaws in my opinion, but all the action made up for it. Yeah... I think I really enjoyed this whole movie overall. Anyways, thanks for listening, guys. And um, keep, keep in mind, I have many other videos uh, in my channel. So watch those as well. All right, bye, guys.